A home in Comstock Park takes Halloween to a whole new level, and now it's getting national recognition. It was featured Sunday on ABC's The Great Halloween Fright Fight. News 8's Kyle Mitchell shows us the spooky scenes. While Jennifer Dunahee didn't win the competition, it's giving the artist national attention for the 15 years of work building this display. Tucked away in this Comstock Park neighborhood is a Halloween attraction that is truly one of a kind. Okay, so this is the haunting of Story of Akala. It is um, a haunted fairy tale village themed home haunt. So what is this? Okay, so this is when you first enter, you're in the little town market. Um, this is Snow White and the Evil Queen. She's a ghost. Artist Jennifer Dunahee looks forward to Halloween all year and takes decorating to the next level. I actually started setting up Halloween displays in haunted houses when I was 11 at my parents' house. My dad and I would do one together. Spooky, but not too scary, the display caught the attention of ABC's Great Halloween Fright Fight. I really didn't know what to think. I was worried that we were going to look silly on TV, but then when I saw that little bat fly over the top of the park, park, I was like, that was it. That was the goal. What's up, Dunny family? How are you? The show hosted by Michigan native Carter Osterhouse gives away a $50,000 prize. Oh my goodness, so being on the show was quite an experience. It was, it was a lot of work and it was really stressful. It's kind of a roller coaster. There were like really great moments about it. Filming night was amazing. I um, cut the foam to fit and then I heat shape it, I heat form it. The display features handcrafted sculptures, including Serpentina the Dragon and Twig the Forest Dragon, which were both art prize entries. A fire breathing dragon. Oh is a popular attraction that was featured on the show. I build on it year round in my house. I build the props and I try to add something big every year. Um, it usually ends up being a dragon the last few years. This year, um, we added the whole backyard. <laughs> Even though the haunting of Storybook Hollow didn't win the competition, once Halloween has come and gone, the display goes back into storage and the countdown begins to next Halloween. My hope is to share a little bit of magic and escapism. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. In Comstock Park, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.